Hello, this is Anthony Fasano from the Engineering Career Coach, and I want to welcome you to episode number three of Engineering Career TV. You can submit questions for Engineering Career TV at engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask. All right, today's topic is to get an additional degree or not to get an additional degree. This topic is based on a question from Joe in Missouri. Joe asks the following. I have an undergraduate degree from a private Bible college in Missouri. I am currently going back to school at a community college to pursue an ME degree as my second undergraduate degree. I would pursue a master's, but my credits from my current degree are from a national accreditation which doesn't transfer to the vast majority of regionally accredited schools. I'm not sure what the best route is to take being married with a toddler and student loan debt. Should I take one to two classes each semester while working full-time or try to find a way to go to school full-time? Great question, Joe. Here's my take on it. Definitely try to go to school part-time while working for many reasons. Here are four. Number one, you already have an undergraduate degree, which you can put on your resume. If you really think this second one will help you in your field, then do it. But do it part-time and gain job experience at the same time. Number two, the experience you are gaining is valuable and is worth something on your resume immediately. So this experience today is adding to your value, which is always a smart career move. Number three, it's a smart decision financially. You're spending less today by going part-time and making money with your job. And if your degree will benefit your firm, ask them to cover some of the costs, which is even better. Number four, you have a family and you have to support them. More important than these four reasons, Joe, for going part-time is that I want to urge you to make sure that going back for a full second undergraduate degree really makes sense. Is that the only path to your goals? If it's not, then consider other alternatives that might allow you to invest your time and money into other paths to achieve your goals. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you and I want you to take advantage of it. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community we have created for engineers at the engineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineering Your Own Success, and I'll see you next week.